Welcome to this channel. Many of us who own a computer use it often for several reasons. But somewhere along the road, there comes a time when your computer does not boot up to Windows and the screen is blank. What will you going to do now? First and foremost, is don't panic. Do you worry that you cannot browse the web from home, use Microsoft Office or play the next generation Doom for the PC? There are several reasons your computer does not boot up. If you like to play around dismantling things, then you have a chance to find out the reason your computer does not boot up. Warning, warning. Don't try doing this to your own computer unless the power cord is already disconnected. Make sure that the computer is turned off. If you have done that, you can check out the parts inside the case. Warning, warning. If you're still a kid, tell it to your dad or mom first, and seek out for help. They will understand your problem. If you're the one that's not interested in fixing things for yourself but can afford to, it may be better to seek out professional help from a qualified computer technician if you are not sure of yourself checking the computer. It might save your computer and you don't have to buy a new one. Another option would be to call your friend who is smart enough to fix things like a broken computer. Again, I mean smart and has already experienced troubleshooting a computer and you know it worked after he fixed it. Going back to the step while you check the computer, make sure that you have first read and understand the user manual, for the motherboard of your computer and the CPU. If you don't know, ask a friend. If he's not sure, then, call the store where you have bought the computer and find out if they can fix your computer. If you know what to do after reading the manual, then, check out every component inside your computer like the memory, the CPU, or the graphics card, if they are all firmly fixed in place. If you have not clean or dust off your computer for years now, it is better to do so. Check also the wire connection from the power supply going to the DVD drive, hard drive, and the motherboard. Make sure they are not loosened and must be connected firmly in the right place. Warning, warning. You must have the ability to assemble the computer again to do this kind of stuff with all the right connection in place. If your computer boot up after doing so, then, congratulations. Be proud and happy that you can. One step for you, one bright future is already in store for you. If not, try other methods you can think of. Try to dismantle it again and review the connections and the components. After rebuilding it, try booting it up. If it doesn't, then, call a computer technician who can fix it or the store you have bought the computer or the authorized service center where qualified technical personnel that are on standby waiting for your call. And that's how you initially fixed a broken computer. And last